Living facilities continue to clamp down on visiting hours because of those rising COVID case numbers. Local 5's Aaron Taylor is in Outagamie County where they're finding new ways to keep their spirits up during the holidays. Folks that are living in a long-term care setting have had a very difficult year with uh, visitation mostly canceled for the better part of the year. Now, traditional visits haven't been allowed since March, but there are still ways for families to get involved. One of the things that um, has just been a, you know, a small win is the ability to do those window visits. A small win for people like Richard Nelson, who sees his wife through a window every day. I try to get there every day for about an hour. Otherwise, I'd be in there about nine hours feeding her and stuff. Those long indoor visits Richard misses are still looking a ways off. Indoor traditional visitation, uh, we're not able to do until the community transmission rate of COVID-19 drops significantly. That's not likely going to happen before the holidays. So Brewster Village is working on ways to make the season special. We have family members send in photos, leave messages, and we're able to play those on, on a loop on a slideshow. Turkey dinners are planned for Thanksgiving, and decorations will be going up in the village. Employees are also working on continuing a tradition. I believe six 16 team members who have volunteered to be part of a choir to do the uh, Christmas caroling throughout the halls. Richard's holiday plans are simple. Just be able to see her and see that she's okay. I've been very 69 million years to her now, so we always were together. A pattern he plans to continue. Uh, I'll be here every day as long as it's not too cold. <laughs> In Appleton, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. Residents at Brewster's Village are also able to visit with the family virtually through video chat.